spent the entire four years at West Point uh, being trained and educated uh, toward the possibility that I would be sent to Vietnam. I said to General T, you know, I spent the first four years of my military career preparing to fight you, and so there's something profound about uh, being here now, uh, trying to build a relationship on the basis of a common interest. It's about building trust, and that doesn't happen overnight. That's why this visit was so important, both because of the uh, you know, the signal to the region that the United States is capable of doing more than one thing at a time and we're serious about rebalancing. Uh, but also in the specific case of Vietnam, that, uh, that there's a steady drumbeat of progress in building the relationship. But the other thing was, the other moment for me was standing on the platform at the honor ceremony, listening to the two national anthems and seeing the two flags flying side by side. And it occurred to me that, um, Oftentimes, adversaries in our past can become our closest friends. Now, that's not, you know, that won't happen without some effort, but I think there's a possibility that Vietnam could be a very strong partner.